Hi everyone, you are on my heart and mind today. It has been so encouraging to hear from some of you how you are walking with the Lord and loving the people around you. And one of the things we wanna do is just share the things that we're hearing from many people in our congregation and invite you to uh, email us and be in touch. Uh, it's one of the great gifts that we can give one another during this time. Here's a sweet video of one of our families for the first time worshiping at home and learning how to do that with their kids and um, being together in this new way. I also heard from someone in our congregation this morning whose Lenten practice is to pray for a different person every day of Lent. And so in the morning, she contacts the person she'll be praying for and asks how um, she can pray. And then she spends the day lifting them before the Lord. And I thought, what a beautiful uh, expression of connection and care and prayer. There's also our prayer team uh, meeting together online uh, to pray for our church and our community and our world. I love that expression of being together even while uh, everyone was at home. Our staff did the same thing recently. We are seeking to make plans for what these next weeks will look like in worship, and gathering, and caring for our city and wider community. So we'll be in touch about those things. I even heard from a couple in our church who decided to host a driveway happy hour. And they got in touch with everyone on their street and just said, hey, at five o'clock, let's all pull our lawn chairs out on our driveway to celebrate a milestone of one of their neighbors. And I love that they didn't miss the opportunity to celebrate and to honor uh, someone in their neighborhood. And just this morning, I'm sure this has been true for many of you, had a coffee date. And um, even though we weren't able to be together, we grabbed our cups of coffee and sat down and looked each other eyeball to eyeball and were able to pray together. I want to encourage you to keep doing that, to um, let the phone be your friend, FaceTime be your friend, uh, just uh, that we would continue to meet together and encourage one another in these creative ways. You know, one of the only things we know about St. Patrick is that his ministry of the gospel rose up in a time of great suffering for him personally and for uh, the nation around him. And God used his faithfulness to um, share the good news of Jesus Christ. So as we wear our green today, as, um, as the world celebrates St. Patrick, let's uh, know that God can use um, very ordinary people in extraordinary times to do his work. So know that I love you, we love you, and um, look forward to hearing from you. And we'll be in touch every day. But you are on our heart and mind, and we're praying for you. Much love. Bye.